it's Paige and this is Being Basic with Paige where we cover all things basic in golf. So we're going to go over clubs today. What are they? Kind of describe what you would use different clubs for and we're just going to go through everything. Don't forget to leave a comment down below on what you want to talk about next with golf. If you have any questions, I'm also going to be doing Q&As monthly Q&A's to talk about everything that you guys have questions on. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and like this video. So first off, we'll start with um, the golf bag. You obviously need a golf bag to hold your golf clubs. There's all different types of golf bags. There's not one right or wrong. One little tip though that I do have for everyone, I see new golfers carry their bag the wrong way. So you want to carry it like a backpack. You're going to put your arms through the loops. Not this way, this way. So if you see some padding, that's the, where your back's going to be touching. So then you lift it up. You can do the one shoulder if you want to act cool, but I recommend the two shoulder. And you can hold it by the handle, but again, if you want to look cool, that's not the way to do it. You do the one strap and then um, that's kind of like the I don't care, I'm such a cool golfer look. So if you want to look cool, this is what you do. Um, but if you just want to look normal, then you do the two straps. But that, that's how you hold your golf bag. So now we're going to go through the clubs. You can only have the max number of clubs you can have in your bag is 14. You cannot go over 14. If you have over 14 clubs, then it's a penalty. So you always want to have, most bags I would say the average bag have around like 12, 13. So, or you can do all 14 as well, but remember don't go over 14 clubs. We'll start at the bottom. So you have your wedges, your irons, and then your hybrids, woods, drivers. So we'll go through everything. We're going to start with the wedges first. So there's different degrees of loft for the wedges. Um, I have, mine are 58, 54, 40, 50, and like a, my pitching wedge, um, which is like 47. So you have your wedges. The wedges have the most loft. You use your wedges around the green and for wedge shots. So for shorter shots and you want to get them higher, you're going to use your wedge, which means you have more loft with it. Um, as you can tell, when I put the club down, as you can see how the club is almost kind of backwards, that's what loft is. And you'll see the other clubs are more facing, facing it this way. Um, this is the, the hosel of the club. This is the shaft. And then this is the grip. And this is the club face. The lines on the club face are called grooves. You need grooves because when the ball hits, it kind of rolls up the grooves and that's how you get a lot of spin. So grooves on a wedge are super important. If you don't have clean, fresh grooves, you're not going to get as much spin on your ball to stop it on, on the greens. Um, fun fact, a lot of pros switch their wedges out like every couple months, um, sometimes every month, couple weeks, because they always want those fresh grooves because they're on very tight, firm greens and it's really hard to spin the ball, and so that's why they always need fresh grooves. So the 58 obviously has more loft than the 54, and so when I'm going through my bag, I'm going from what flies the shortest to what goes the longest. So my 58 will go the shortest, and then my driver is obviously gonna go the longest. But when you work through your bag, um, it pretty much works through that way. So it would go, 58 or your wedges and then it'll go into your pitching wedge and then from there it's going to go into the numbers which are irons and then um, hybrids woods driver so we covered wedges first so those are going to be used around the green then you have your irons so i do a nine through a five iron but some people do to a four iron, they have two irons. Most people don't usually hit a one iron or a two iron or even a three iron. Those are what hybrids are for. But with the irons, it goes, um, obviously, the higher the number, the more loft, lower the number, less loft. So higher number, more loft will go shorter than a lower number, less loft. So I'm gonna grab my nine iron and then I'm gonna grab my five iron. 
Also, the 9 iron is going to be shorter than the 5 iron, as you can see here. Also, you can see the difference in loft where the 9 iron looks like it's more open and the 5 iron looks like it's more square. When you start playing more, each club is going to have a yardage. So your yardage is how far you hit each club. So, for example, I know that my 9 iron goes 135 and I know my 7 iron goes 180 or 175. So you're going to start assigning numbers to your clubs for pretty much how far you hit them. And so if you're on the golf course and you have 150, you're going to know what club goes that distance and then you're going to reach in and pick which one you think is good for it. Next we're going to talk about hybrids. Hybrids are pretty much what you would guess they are. They're a hybrid in between a long iron and a wood. So it looks like <laughs> it looks like a wood, but not a full wood, and so that's why they call it a hybrid because it's the perfect mix between both a long iron and a wood. Um, I like hybrids because they're easier to get out of the rough, they're easier to get up in the air, and they're easier to hit than a long iron, and um, actually sometimes usually easier than a wood as well. Some people like hybrids, some people do not like hybrids. Um, it's really a personal preference. I love hybrids because I hate my long irons and so these are a really great alternative for me. Um, you can get a hybrids in pretty much everything. So if you don't even like hitting your 7 iron because you think it's too difficult, they actually have hybrids that um, will kind of take the place for your, all of your long irons. So I have a 21 degree and then also a 19 degree. And so um, they take the place of a 4 and a 3 iron. Okay, so we have the woods which are a little bit bigger than hybrids and they go farther than hybrids as well. They won't go as high, so this has less loft than the hybrids, so it's going to go a little bit lower and a little bit longer. Next we have the driver. This is the biggest and longest club in the bag. As you can see, the head of the club is so much bigger than even my three wood and also the face is that one a little off the toe we'll just get rid of that <laughs> and the face is so much bigger as well when you're looking at the club and you see the circle that's the sweet spot of the club so we want to hit it right in here if you hit it over here that's on the toe because it's the toe of the club and if you hit it right here that's on the heel of the club um, you want to hit it right here and a little bit above. Um, if you hit it down here, that's low on the face. If you hit it up here, that's high on the face. People love hitting the driver the most because it goes the farthest. So it's everyone's favorite club to hit, I would say. So this is a T. So you're going to use this on par threes and off the T. So any T box. A T box is where. You, the, T, the designated T location where you hit your first shot on the golf course. For a driver, you're going to tee it up pretty high and then it's gonna move down for depending on your club. So you, when you're on par threes with um, irons, you're gonna tee it down really low. Then lastly, we have the putter. The putter is only used on and around the green. There's different kinds of putters. So I have a mallet style putter, which means that it has a bigger face. And then there's blade type putters, which literally looks like that. Um, it's depending on whatever you like. Nothing's better than the other. It's just whatever fits your um, eye the best. But this is the club head. Um, again, you still have the shaft the hosel, and the grip. Grip sizes change depending on your preference and what you like. They're also shaped differently than your iron or your long clubs. Those are round and this can be any shape that you really want it to be. So there's so many different types of putters out there and the one thing about putters that's a little bit different with maybe your other clubs is you do get fit for putters as well, but when it comes to putting, it's really about feel and confidence. 
And so I recommend just going out and trying a ton of different type of putter styles to see what works best for you and what you have the most confidence with. Um, it's kind of funny because a lot of the tour players are so particular about their clubs and they have to be perfect, but they'll go to like a Dick Sporting Goods and just go find a putter off the rack and they'll like win majors with it. So um, again, like putting is just something that's really weird. It's all about confidence and feel. So. Um, that's everything in the golf bag. I know, like I said, this is very simple, but we're doing the basics. I know a lot of people actually don't know a lot about clubs or what clubs you use for certain things or what do you even call them, different parts on the golf club. So I hope that um, I cleared all that up today and you now know about golf clubs and what you need to get started. Get out there, get on swinging, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Being Basic with Paige.